Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to explain you rotate right through carry instruction of 8086 microprocessor. The keyword for this instruction is RCR and the next thing in the instruction format is D is the destination operand which we are going to rotate uh, and C is a count. Sorry, count is a basically number of bits which we want to rotate. Uh, the, this instruction will be rotating the destination operand towards right but this time this rotation will be through carry for example if this is a 16 bit register so what is going to happen rightmost bit or uh, this bit will go in, into the carry and the carry flag whatever the value of the carry if, if it is zero so zero and if it is one so one will go to the leftmost side right so this is the operation of rotate through rotate right through carry let's elaborate this code uh, or this instruction with the help of this example program right so what we are doing in this code the first instruction move ax comma 7f4a so that means our ax value will become what uh, 7fa4 okay 7fa4 that's this is a value in hexadecimal and if i converted it into binary so what will be its uh, value its value will be what let me write 7 means 0, triple 1, F means 4 times 1, A means 1, 0, 1, 0, and 4 means 0, 1, double 0. Okay, so this is the content of AX register. Then what we are doing, STC is a set carry flag command, which will, uh, which means we are going to set the carry flag equals to 1. So we are making carry flag equals to 1. Okay, then what we are doing, we are actually setting the value of the count which is needed in the instruction in the CL register. So move CL comma zero two. So CL content would be what? CL. Then we are using our instruction RCR, rotate, write through carry. AX is our destination operand. CL is the count value. That means we are going to rotate this value of AX by two units. And remember, we are going to rotate how many times? Two units. Okay. If we are going to eliminate this zero, so what is going to happen? This zero will go to the carry flag. So basically uh, there will be rotation two times. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, do it directly or okay, I, I, I will do it manually. Let's say the first rotation, if I'm doing it just one time. So what is going to happen? Uh, this uh, left hand side would become what? Zero will go into the carry flag. Okay, I'm gonna okay now it's okay so zero is in the carry flag then we will remain with zero one zero so we will take from the right side a zero then we will remain here with what one zero one okay and one will be taken from the left side then we will remain with what triple one we will take a one from left side then we will remain with what zero double one so this is the uh, result if we have uh, rotated it one unit okay uh, and what is going to happen with this last bit it will be coming with the last value of carry which was one so it will become what one so, but we have only rotated it by one time we will rotate it one more time so this zero will go to the carry flag which means it will become zero over here we will have we will remain with zero zero one okay and one will be taken here then we will remain with what one one zero and one will be taken from the left hand side okay i'm rotating it right and then what will happen we are remain with what triple one that means one will be taken from the left side Okay, we are remain with what? One, zero, one. So what is going to happen? The last carry flag value, which was zero, it will come up here. Okay, so I hope you have understand it. Let's uh, uh, calculate this value in hexadecimal. So what will be the hexadecimal value? It will be what? Uh, zero, one, zero will be five that would be sorry f 
and that next would be what triple one zero that means e and one double zero one means nine so this is the value we expect in a x register let's make these things comments then i will execute our code and check whether our result is right or wrong so let's test this code a x value is seven f a four as expected okay i will open flag register carry flag is currently zero i will execute this instruction stc that means it will become one okay it has become one then we will move the value of count in cl register and then we'll execute so 5 fe9 and carry flag which should be zero it is zero i hope you have understand this instruction rotate right through carry uh, for 8086 microprocessor assembly language still if you have any confusion or query you can post your queries in comment section thank you so much for listening